Hey, how you guys doing? Michael X. So the Crown Von f uh, full review. Now I've actually, it was actually able to get two Ace Tankers and I have not gotten a Mark of Excellence yet. Um, I did want to go ahead and say that I did want to get a review out uh, rel relatively quicker than I do normally. I'm going to keep on trucking for a Mark of Excellence on this. I'll probably show some good game gameplay footage. But I think, you know, getting an Ace Tanker, getting two of them, it is enough to say, hey, you know, I did well with this tank. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, this actually this tank's actually a very fun tank to play, and we're gonna go over the differences between the Emil and it, which there's there's not a lot. So if you guys liked my Emil two review, you guys will like this one too. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to that. Um, so uh, first thing we need to go over is horsepower, 700. It does 60 kilometers downhill. Um, 18 in reverse, 15% chance of engine fire, uh, 33 second reload, 2.5 aim time, 36 accuracy, 10 degrees of elevation, uh, 12 degrees of gun depression, four round auto loader. <clears throat> now keep in mind that all these stats are based on a 75% trained crew. So they, they do go up much higher, which I will talk about here <clears throat> after we're done looking at the armor. Um, so 30 degrees of rotation, which actually makes this thing turn a lot better than the Emil, um, and, but it has poor uh, ground resistance. Uh, 390 uh, meters of view range, not so hot, um, and of course uh, signal range 850 meters, which is actually really high uh, for for these. So ammunition, uh, APCR standard for 252 uh, for 400 alpha, heat for 300. For 400 alpha, uh, HE has 660 pin with uh, 515 possible damage. And of course, you guys can see that I have an okay crew in this. <clears throat> so uh, if you guys take a look at the armor scaling, you guys can see that this says it's it's 230 plus, right? But it's actually way more effective than that. It is way beyond the 231. So one of the things I don't like about the armor viewer is that <clears throat> it's one thing to know the actual thickness of the vehicle, uh, but it should actually show you the effectiveness, which is why I use the PC mod to show you guys that just because it says it's something doesn't mean that it's actually that because uh, it's angled armor, which means this tank actually has a good uh, 60 uh, more than the Emil, and the Emil can block uh, pretty much any APCR from any tank destroyer except for the Death Star. Well, it can block, block. Uh, it's the Hesh that, that destroys this vehicle. You guys can see that in a haul down position, um, this vehicle has crazy thick turret. You, you aren't pinning none of this here, none of this stuff, if you can get it into a, into a really good position. But I will say, if you can get a cheeky shot off and hit those hatches, uh, it is the only place that you can hit it. <clears throat> which is why you might see people moving back and forth to make it so it's very hard to hit that. So this is my first Ace Tanker uh, footage. Um, and I did want to go ahead and take a brief second while we're waiting for this game to load up and talk about how <clears throat> I'm not going to be doing specific types of videos anymore. Um, at least not when it comes to World of Tanks. Uh, recently, you guys might have noticed my video, uh, cat well, how many videos I've made has actually decreased by almost 50%, and it's because I went ahead and put a lot of them on private because, well, they're just not, they're not popular, or they have lots of dislikes on them. <clears throat> um, so, um, I am probably going to be adding in some old games to this. What I mean is I'm probably going to be adding in, in the future, um, you know, different types of games, see how they do, and if they don't do well, you know, I'll probably, uh, you know, delete them or put them on private. Um, most of the footage I share on my channel isn't really for the views. It's really for my own personal, you know, like trophy. <laughs> you know, like what I'm doing right now is like this is a, a game I was proud of. Um, I do think that a lot of these games have more to do with luck than skill. <clears throat> um, but you do need to have skill to use specific tanks. If you guys have played any other autoloaders before, this vehicle uh, will be like that, plus have a, just you know an awesome haul down ability, which is really uh, really amazing. So I wanted to go over the armor and speed. <clears throat> As you guys can see, that this tank's actually pretty quick, 42. Uh, it's a little bit faster than a chieftain, 
um, you know, on, on an upward hill. I mean, this thing would smokes a chieftain when you're going uh, in this location. As you guys can see, I was able to make it to this rock. Uh, but if I want to make it to the top of the hill, I'm going to have to pop out here. Now, I'm not seeing anything that can really trash me. Uh, except for that patent over there, but I'm like I'm gonna have I, I can't sit behind this rock You know, I need to get up on the top of the hill, which is uh, the the only place I can use my gun depression so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bounce a shot off of him, so I did want to go ahead and say that the uh, I Really wish this this had standard AP rounds, you know instead of the APCR standard um, I kind of wish it had um, <clears throat> Well, I'll just say it I wish it had APCR for 300 for its, you know, secondary ammunition, and then it had regular AP rounds. I guess that that would be too OP, but I'm going to go ahead and say you guys can see that this is actually bouncing off of pretty thinly armored surfaces, um, and because it's APCR and it's angled, um, it really, you know... Like I said, it, it's really hard to pin angled surfaces with it, and it's at range can be very upsetting. <laughs> um, like I said, I can do uh, 5,900 damage one game, two pins in, in another, and that is really uh, kind of weird. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that <clears throat> we've kind of uh, you know gone beyond the, the uh, a certain point, and that is there is a lot of pro players that bought this vehicle because it, it can play comp. It can play competition. If you guys don't know what comp is, it means it's a competitive tank that you can play in 7v7 battles. And you guys can see that although its reload isn't the isn't the greatest, um, it still can outdo because of its armor. It can outdo a T57 heavy if you have uh, a haul down location. Seriously, if you have a haul down location. So uh, <clears throat> artillery is this tank's worst nightmare. I'm going to go ahead and say that both these games you guys are going to see either it, it's incredibly hard for artillery to shoot me or they aren't even on the map. And I'm going to say that most games uh, artillery will go for me and I think it's because people actually you know, just constantly mark the Kronwagen because there's really nothing you can do to it when it's hauled down. But if you play this tank, you can. You can shoot the hatches on this. It has to be some really well-placed shots. You can also shoot HE, which I'm going to say, although HE doesn't work very well when it comes to specific vehicles, um, <clears throat> it does work well when it comes to this. You guys can see here that I'm actually able to use the haul down of this, um, the haul down on, on a corner, um, to keep myself from getting pinned from those waffles. Uh, I just need to get a reload. So we're at seven pins, and I'm going to say that if you guys want to get a mark of excellence, you're going to need to do over 3,000 damage per game. And if you ha if you do if you do less than that, your mark of excellence is going to lower. Now it does depend upon maps that you play, and I am going to go ahead and say that this plays on some pretty rough maps. Uh, Hemmelsdorf is actually probably one of the better maps to play this on if you can get into specific locations, for instance, the hill uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know what those guys right there were thinking, <clears throat> you know. I really don't. Okay, so 75% trained crew. Uh, if you guys look at any stats in the garage, it doesn't show you how effective the armor actually is. And what that means is that when you angle armor, you know, it's actually a lot more effective uh, when angled um, than it is, you know. So, for instance, this is about 380 on flat ground but when it's in its gun depression when you when you're in max gun depression you can get up to 400 uh, and 10 which means that even the Yagaru's heat can't pin the turret on this and you would it would be pointless to even try that um, you can get some cheeky shots off sometimes and pin the lower part of the turret but other than that I mean it's very difficult it's very uh, RNG dependent if you actually pin the surface of that turret <clears throat> Which is kind of funny because when I look at the turret, I think to myself it's a, it's actually steep, more steep. It's it's steep. It's steeper armor than what the, um, you know, the elevation uh, and the angle of the turret armor is actually steeper than like, you know, a, a, an E seventy five. But yet heat can pin that. So, I do think based on the numbers we're seeing. <clears throat> that they may nerf this vehicle's speed um, 
aim time. I don't think they can nerf it anymore with the ammunition. Um, I got to say that when it comes to the ammunition, like I said, you have to be very lucky and run into specific types of tanks and they have to give you specific angles. You cannot pin with standard shells lower plates on E75s or E100s. Um, and you cannot, even with heat, you cannot pin the Panzer uh, 7. You can't pin it. Uh, when I see the Panzer 7, I just go the other way because you cannot pin it. So if you have a Panzer 7, uh, this thing, even with its heat shells, cannot pin you frontally. <clears throat> now, I wanted to show you guys how trolly this is. So that not only didn't track that vehicle, uh, but if I didn't actually have that extra round there, I would be dead right now. I just can tell you that. <laughs> so 12 pins uh, doesn't seem like a lot, you know. Um, but if you look at how much assistance damage, which I didn't actually notice until after this game, does mean that although this looks like a low damage game, if you were to take into consideration the assistance, um, this is actually a 6,900, um, you know, game. So four, five, six, plus 600. So, you know, 6,800 damage game, basically, with, a fi with five kills for an ace tanker. Um, if you guys don't know how the ace tanker works, which I'm going to go ahead and say that I, I haven't really looked in a long time and I kind of forgot something about the ace tanker. It has nothing to do with damage. It actually has to do with how much XP. So if you look at how much I blocked plus the assistance plus the damage, it gives you a lot of XP. You guys can see I made 75,000 silver uh, with premium, of course. But if you actually look at the mark of excellence it specifically says you have to be in the 99 percentile uh, under base xp so when you go to this page here you can see that it required me 1500 to get the ace tanker on swamp on this 1500 xp so uh you guys would probably have to drop uh five five k plus assist in three thousand in order to get a uh mastery on this or an ace tanker um so uh this is actually a pretty decent game it's a lot higher damage than what you've seen before um and i will say that i'm real close to breaking the 6000 to 6500 damage area um i'm gonna say that the i have these games where i can do a lot of damage in them um on specific maps and specific game types but when I get onto, say, let's well say like highway, uh, unless I go left and there's no artillery, as soon as I get spotted, artillery goes for this vehicle. And I think the reason why is because, um, you know, it is very thinly armored on the top of the turret. I mean, compared to other vehicles, this thing actually gets about half health from any artillery, and it's I have been one shotted. If you can actually get up behind this vehicle with a Death Star, you can one-shot this vehicle for its entire 2,000 hit points. <clears throat> Zip up my sweater real quick. A <laughs> little bit cold in the house this morning. Um, so, uh, so on this map, I gotta say that I don't normally promote, um, you know, this variant. A lot of people like it. Um, you know like these storm modes I, I i don't like the the fact that my uh, that i'm that's being decreased you know i don't like the fact that it's being decreased the uh you know so if you guys take a look at my detection circle i'm like if you're gonna do the storm variant at least make this the the detection circle you know accurate so you can get some sort of idea you guys can see that that guy didn't detect me till I was almost completely up on him, and that was a light tank. <laughs> Serious. Um, <clears throat> so, it looks like there's some nasty tanks over there. Um, now, I did want to talk about the ammunition a little bit more on this vehicle, which the ammunition on this vehicle is very trolly and i'm going to say that i do believe that uh, people are just spamming heat in it because with the standard shells i gotta say that, that they're 252 which sounds like it's okay i mean it's more than an is uh seven but they're apcr so you get a high velocity but you on angled surfaces you lose like 10 10 penetration so 
this can be as low as the tier 8 105 millimeter on you know most of the time so when it comes to super heavies like you know, is4s uh, e100s <clears throat> things like that it is very very difficult to pin an e75 yag tiger um, you know superstructure with its heat um, I will say this if you go head to head with an e100 um, if you shoot high on the e 100s turret, you will, will bounce every single heat round, or, or I'll just say it just won't pin. <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, if you're actually, you know, um, shooting heat and you shoot lower on an E100, it will actually, uh, you know, pin. But I will say that I have had it not pin, and... Uh, I will say that they are expensive rounds, and so I find that uh, it's kind of a waste to try and shoot um, the heat rounds when uh, you need to just go around. Like, I'm looking at shooting that uh, that that guy, but I know that I'm not going to pin him, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot somebody that I can pin, as you guys can see here. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot somebody that I can pin. Um, and I will say that you can bounce on flat ground, um... APCR from pretty much any tank destroyer um, and of course the only vehicle you really have to be scared of is artillery and the Death Star <coughs> and of course the FE2000 I think that's what it is a lot of people call it the Hesh Barn um, so those are really your only worries now I will say flat ground is your enemy but I am gonna go ahead and say that this tank it, it really reminds me of a chieftain you know, you just have a longer reload, but you can do, uh, you know, a lot of damage at once. You guys can see here that I'm going to hit this corner. And I am actually was kind of worried because if that guy would have stood angled like he was, I would not have been able to pin him. Um, seriously. Uh, this does not do well against side-scraping vehicles. It just, it's not going to pin. Which I do, I, I will say that I do understand this vehicle being the way that it is. You know, I do understand that it needs to be balanced because, I mean, geez, if this thing's hauled down, you know, on the right map, um, it is incredibly hard to hit the hatches on this thing, especially while moving. Like, you have to sit out there for a real long time. So, trying to pin the hatch on the T95 is just out of the question. You're not going to be able to do it. <clears throat> but I am going to go ahead and say that there is one tank that out there that you cannot pin with heat anywhere except for if you're in a higher location and that is the panzer 7 which i gotta say is this tank's absolute mortal enemy so the guy fired and he does hit and i'm gonna go ahead and try and yolo this uh t95 <coughs> i'm gonna waste one round to get a track on him and i'm gonna go ahead and keep on shooting him uh in places that i should pee and i take another shot and I'm going to go ahead, I catch him on fire, I'm going to go ahead and face hug the Object 704. Now most tank destroyers think, oh this guy, what is he must have gave up, he, uh, he must want to die, right? But you guys watch what's going to happen here. He's trying to shoot me in my gun and you can't pin that. Uh, you can't pin the turret neither. That's way too thick. Um, I will say that the, if there was an APCR round that had like 2 or 340 or something, um, you would be able to pin the gun on this. Maybe even the turret. Um, but it would have to be like AP. Now, uh, the, the Yagaru, uh, only the HE on it can actually do any kind of damage to this vehicle. So, I'm not detected here, so this is probably one of the reasons why I really don't like when I'm on this map. If you're on the losing team, you get shot by stuff you can't see. And, you know, it's one thing to know that, you know, know where the enemy is and to know, hey, you know what, they got us completely surrounded. But when you don't know <clears throat> and you're trying to do your thing and you're just getting absolutely wasted, it can very, it can upset a lot of people. And I've been given a lot of hate mail myself, um, you know, for it. But, but anyway, yeah. So, um, overall, what do I think of this vehicle? I think it's a, it's a, it's a, you know... Uh, it's a very good vehicle. Um, I do think that, um, you know, that you have to be very skilled with the ammunition. You have to be very wise and realize that, you know, like for instance, you guys look, I'm using heat, but I, I could, I know I can't pin that turret. 
um, I have to be right up on it and it has to be either on the side of the turret you guys can see here that that didn't pin so I'm gonna go ahead and get closer and get some on the bottom plate there which that didn't pin neither um, as you guys can see and so he goes ahead and turns that turret again and it gives me the bottom plate and now I'm actually able to pin I don't know if this was the best you know I could have spent you know I should have probably waited a little bit I could have got another couple pins here's what I was trying to tell you it seems like I just get trolled at the very end of games here uh, when I'm doing it like getting 20 pins <clears throat> you know if I could have gotten you know it landed three more of those shells the ones I bounced if I could have landed three more of those I would have gotten broke the 6,000 damage barrier which I've, I've actually had a really hard time getting over that I've gotten to 59.90 but I just can't seem to get over <laughs> to the 6,000 uh, anyway, so that's my two Ace Tanker videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys feel like I left something out, please feel free to put it in the comments. And of course, if you would like to see, um, you know, more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and have a good one. Later.